how much do you think about the safety of your children in your car? Safety in the family car is the new target of a new campaign in Hamilton. The move comes after an officer noticed many families at a local school didn't have their kids in car seats. Nine on your side reporter Jay Warren is live at the Grant Early Learning Center with that story. Jay? Well, that's right. For parents wrestling with a car seat, either securing it to the car or putting their child inside can be a trying and tiring experience. When it comes to child safety, though, the Hamilton Police Department says that not enough parents here at the Grant Early Learning Center know what that's like because not enough of them have proper child seats. Inside the Grant Early Learning Center, the message on the big screen is up to alert parents about this week's push. It was Sergeant Ed Buns, who was out on patrol last week, who noticed what was going on. I saw several cars passing me around noontime where I saw a lot of kids not in car seats, even standing on the back seat of cars. I sat down with Christina Galena, who admitted she doesn't have the right car seat for her daughter. I have a little booster seat, and um, I put her in it, and when we're driving down the road, she undoes the seatbelt, and she comes up into the front. Galena's daughter, Abby, is too young and too small for the booster seat. As you can see, the shoulder belt rides up her neck, and as her mom shuts the door, little Abby is already putting the shoulder restraint behind her. I'm just trying to get another car seat because I don't have a job, and... And I don't want Abby to get hurt. Nancy Baker is the site manager here at Grant Early Learning Center. We take in the neediest of the needy in the county. So, um, so oftentimes we have parents who are um, receiving no income at all. Yeah. And they still need to put food on the table. They need to pay their bills. It will be this Wednesday when Abby's mom and all the other parents who are not in compliance will be getting flyers about what Ohio law says and what they need to do. It's education. It's not warning. Now, the letter says, you know, uh, this is what the law is. We ask you to comply. And sometime down the road, then we're going to start issuing citations because the safety of our children is much too important. Now, the problem really isn't an isolated one. There are some national statistics that show that 80% of car seats are used the wrong way and that a third of kids are in a car seat that is the wrong size. In the meantime, the Hamilton Police Department, as they plan for this on Wednesday, they're looking to some organizations to raise some money to help out. Jay Warren, not on your side, Hamilton.